Okay, in this one, so I'm gonna do some manual customization to the Django admin page. Um, it's fairly straightforward on what to do. We just need to change the template files a little bit. Um, and just so you know, you can look in, this is my settings for my template DIRs. Um, if you don't know how to set up template directories, go ahead and watch Try Django uh, because I'm not really gonna cover that in this. So if you have templates set up just like this, all we need to do is make a new folder in here and we're gonna call it admin. And within this folder is where we're gonna have our overridden um, HTML files. So going back into Chrome, I'm gonna look at the Django code here. Now, if you just came into the GitHub Django code, you would wanna go into Django and then into contrib and then admin and then templates and then admin again. And that's kind of the straightforward, easy way to just jump into these Django template pages. Now there's a couple of things I wanna look at. So I'm gonna hit control and open these two into a new tab here. And this is the base one. This is what everything's kind of based off of. That's why it's called base. Um, so we can actually make some edits to this base one. Uh, but the first thing we're gonna do is actually change the header and the base underscore site is where we are gonna be able to change parts of the header. It's not gonna change everything in the header, uh, and I'll show you why shortly. So let's actually go ahead and grab this one. I'm gonna actually just copy all of the tags here, and then inside of the templates admin, I'm gonna do a new file here, and I'm gonna call it base underscore site dot HTML, uh, just as it's right there. So I'm, I'm literally copying the structure that they already have, and the only reason I'm doing that is because then it's gonna override it uh, because these are the uh, ways to overwrite your templates, basically. Um, all right, so now that we have this open, I'm gonna paste all that stuff in here. And if we go back into our Django admin and do a refresh, ah, everything goes away. Uh, and that's pretty useful for us. So a quick change that we could do is just change, get out this template tag here and change it to coding for entrepreneurs. And we also see this block tag, this title tag up here. Um, and if we change this site title also to coding for entrepreneurs or whatever your site is, um, and then you see up here and right here, it actually changes. Cool, so that's a, that's a good start, uh, but we want more. So let's go back into our, our base.html or the admin template files. Uh, we're gonna go into the base.html and just kind of look around. So if you are already familiar with a lot of the things that I've done, uh, you will see that these block tags um, are pretty easy to work with in any template file that is being based off of that specific template, right? So I know that admin or th that the last one is the base underscore site. I know that it's working off of this specific file because it says admin slash base, admin slash base. So the fact that it's working off that, I can then use these different blocks in here to kind of update anything that I want. Now there's a couple blocks that I could use. I could use this block extra head or I could use this block extra style. I'm gonna go off of what they have and I'm just gonna go block extra style and I'm gonna put it underneath the block title. So in here, I can actually add CSS and uh, I first need to have a style tag, of course, because going back in here, I don't have any style tags. So this is for um, the inline or internal style sheet uh, for whatever we wanna change. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we see block branding and block branding, right? So there's the branding block, that's what we changed. Um, so we can actually change the whole block. So that whole background there. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And the way I'm gonna be able to change the entire block is again, by looking at this base code, uh, I see that the ID is specifically branding, but I also see this other one called header. So maybe I want the top level one. Uh, another way to check that would be to go inspect element. Uh, this is gonna make it faster for me to check it uh, as opposed to if I you know, kind of just guessed on each ID and just kind of change the colors there. I see that the header tag, if I go in here, I see that the background, that is that is what's controlling the background color. The branding didn't look like it had the background color at all. 
in one of, any of the styles, so I'm not even going to touch that one. So back to the header, I'm going to change this, and I'm going to try and just off the top of my head, just change it to the Coding for Entrepreneurs color, um, or at least close to it. And then I'm going to come back in here, and again, the ID was header, so we change header. And I'm going to do background um, and dash color. And that's this. Okay. Save it. Do a refresh. There we go. Now we have that new background color that I just set. And of course, you can change this to however you want. And you can apply any styles to it as well. Um, so that's kind of cool. Well, what if we logged in here and we wanted to change a few more things? Um, I noticed that, look, my header is still has that color and it also has this yellow. So maybe we want to change the color to like red and then we go back in here and now that color stuff is red. Or maybe we want, we want it purple or we want to be a little bit more specific to a color that we want. You know, you can kind of play around with that as much as you'd like. And the important part here, though, is again, now we have a way to override all of the styles in here. So if I go into auth, I can inspect element again and I can look for the containing element. It looks like it says caption. And here is the base CSS for caption. If I change it, uh, it looks like it's not changing. And that has to do with having this background URL. So I can just get rid of all that. And then I see some type of change there. I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just kind of showing you guys uh, that you can change everything in there. And I will just give you a very simple example. I'm going to make the font, you know, 24. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing right here and go underneath that. And then I'll do font size 32 pixels. And then I'll do background and then and there you go. So adding that important, make sure that this is going to be the only setting it has. Um, and if we change these a little bit to make it look a little nicer, there you go. So this is how you could kind of play around with it. Of course, uh, those of you who are using Bootstrap, there are other ways to do this in Bootstrap and even just install a third-party app. Um, but you could also do it yourself. You could just go through and kind of change uh, this whole static uh, base.html file. But I will say that if you do that, you might run into some template tag errors, and most likely you will. And that takes a little bit more customization, uh, whereas this is just nice and easy and clean and it's not really that difficult and all those changes uh, actually show up and they will show up everywhere else, uh, especially if you're wanting to make other changes anywhere else. So let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, that is kind of customizing the Django admin a little bit. Okay, see you guys soon.